Hello everyone. Glad to have you with me. CK Too Much here back at it again with Basilius Mauricius II of the Byzantine Empire. Uh, so in the last episode, guys, we got a nice new chunk of territory up here. Uh, and we finally fully kicked out the papacy from the Italian peninsula. Uh, so now they are totally gone. We just need to get this last douchey, which actually looks like they are defending against the Sicilians. So I will have to keep an eye out on that. Hopefully, my cousin and the actual, the, uh, as far as I remember, the heir, yeah, the heir to the empire, uh, hopefully he will be able to pick up this territory. Uh, okay, so we might have to get rid of this guy too, Nikephoros of Epirus. Uh, don't want anyone from a different family to inherit this territory. All right, so uh, we also picked up a claimant for this territory up here in Dalriada. For some reason, they're not part of the defensive pact. Um, and, you know, even if they were, I don't think it would be that hard. There's only three, three counties up here. Ooh. So we get King Peter Lork. Iceland up here all by himself uh, so, okay so the Lorks have been here for a little while they have most of the land up here they're just missing Austerland is he also a Lork no he's a Boru all right I remember when I first started playing CK2 back in, must have been like 2014 or something like that. Uh, I would always play as Iceland. That's kind of how I learned to play. I also did, you know, Ireland, but Iceland was fun. Uh, what's this? So, Stratagos Jordanis of Anatolia is attempting to promote vile heresies. No, he's my friend. I'm going to keep this to myself. Ooh, what's this? Ah, interesting. So, I wish to forsake my old religion and lead Dragovicia or Dragovicha to the right to its rightful place among civilized realms. Okay, it's kind of a tiny place, but we can do that. Except I just guess it's not that tiny. Ooh, interesting. We got some Muslims in Poland. Who is a few, quite a few actually. Uh, but okay, but he's not Polish. Ah, but we do get one. Kuyevsky. Pshibor Kuyevsky. Very interesting. Okay, and he is doing some, some holy wars against his neighbors. All right, so you receive news from your missionaries only a few days after the mass baptism of Pinsk. Uh, although the priest writes that he does not feel entirely convinced about the sincerity of the barbarians, uh, conversa uh, con a conversion, uh, the ceremony went well, and Dragovicia is now officially iconoclast. By aiding in the con conversion of an entire score of pagans uh, to the one true faith, you have accomplished a feat worthy of the apostles themselves. So, yeah. The savages have seen the light. Would you like to perhaps uh, become my vassal? Why not? Foreign culture. All right. Well, that's a bummer. That would be a nice little addition to our collection. Um, oh yeah, can I form the Empire of Italia? I feel like I found out that I couldn't, cannot create empires. What does that mean? Is it because I'm, I'm, I'm the Byzantine Empire? That's why I can't create empires? Is there something about that? Okay. Well, I guess we have to give that guy a little bit of territory before he joins us. Aha, uh -huh, so now he has joined the defensive pact. I guess once he got the news 
about what's his face. He got a little bit worried, huh? Uh, I think that's him, yeah? No. Who did I get? This guy, yeah? Okay. Um, so it's tribal land, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, okay, so I need to give him something so that he will become my vassal once we win. Uh, I'm thinking something small and irrelevant. Uh, Orbitello is... that's not very irrelevant or small. Mercia? Maybe Mercia. Yeah, maybe Mercia. Okay, so we'll give him the county of Mercia. So, congratulations, you are a count. Uh, and you are about to become a duke. So, uh, how many men does he have? Okay, no. Uh, pretty insignificant amount. All right, so we'll go ahead and attack then. Does he have a lot of men? Or she? Oh, 2,000, not too many. These are dark days. My son has been beset by fever, and I've just been informed that it is slow fever. Well, call the court physician. I had my own run in with slow fever. Wasn't a big problem. So yeah, let's claim Dalariata. All right. Bam. Very good. So we had a nice first victory. Surprise, we started out with negative three. Okay, we'll go ahead and assault and assault. 40%, no problemo. Okay, we'll pick up these guys and hopefully be jamming. Jamming and jiving. Ooh, okay, so we inherited to lose. Well, I see no reason why not to why to why we can't just give it to his son, so we will confirm your rights. Alarico the third of Toulouse. Okay. Uh, okay. So yeah, come on, almost there. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, this guy's gone. I remember him. Rafael the Cruel. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was down there in Pisa, so he ended up getting usurped, huh? I'll have to check on my cousin's conquest of Italy in a moment. We just need all of our attention right here. Ooh, so peasant revolt in Salzburg. No problem. 2,000 men. Nothing we can't handle. Uh, okay, yeah. All right. What is this? Your vassal uh, is concerned about his non-inheriting son. Hmm. Well, he's also Isoro, so could I, could I use a few good men? 200 gold, and he gets Valencia. Uh, where is Valencia? Uh, oh, I guess that's down there in... Yeah, I'm an idiot. Uh, in Spain, huh? Uh, I guess he is my family. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, you know what? Maybe I can do one better. And give him the douchey of Valencia. Yeah, let's do that. So, douchey of Valencia. Go ahead. Um, okay. So, we just have one more that we have to take. Uh, we just need to take out these guys in the process. Man, this guy is really consolidating some power here. Um, what's up with you? So, he's taking Abruzia. Is that the name of the douchey? No, that's Apulia. Hold on. Um, you are defending against the Abruzzi Vassalation War? Who are the Abruzzis? Where is Abruzzi?
Sorry, guys, computer's a little slow, I guess. It said a bruisey, didn't it? A bruisey vacillation war. I have no idea what that means. Um. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll see. I don't know what that means. None of the counties are called a bruisey. None of the douches are called a bruisey. I can't find any place called a bruisey. Uh, okay, well, whatever. Um, maybe a bruisey is like an adjective for something that I'm not familiar with. Okay, so one more county. This war is going on a lot longer than I would have liked. Ooh, so we get a nice vassal here. Or not vassal, prisoner. Okay. Well, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Computer's a little slow today. 85. If this does not go to 100, I'm kind of fucked. Okay, nice. Yes, so I will accept your surrender, my friend. He is now the vassal of my vassal. All right, so we went ahead and got these little teeny tiny islands for the Byzantine Empire. That's great. Um, merchant republics and patricians cannot usurp kingdoms or empires. Since when? Okay, very nice. Very, very, very nice. Okay. So, um, hopefully that puts people on notice and maybe it will attract some claimants. No? Okay, and we got Gide. I guess I'll just go ahead and release him. He's not really worth dealing with the trouble. Uh, maybe I can build this guy a castle. Although, to be honest, I'm more concerned about uh, different territories. Uh, okay, so let's go back to Constantinople. Um, I guess we can, I guess we can deal with them. Let's go ahead and, 900 men, that's all? That's all you can give me? What about the Kingdom of Italy? That's more like it. So let's meet up in Udine, and we'll deal with them. Okay, Duchy of Venice, we got it. Kingdom of Venice. I cannot make because I'm not a republic. Okay. Um, okay, so I cannot give him that. Can I give her this? Okay, so I can give her that vice royalty of Kingdom of Venice or Duchy of Venice, I guess. Okay. Oh, interesting choice. So she has decided to get married non-matrilineally. So this will pass to this guy, the Ducas Comateros family. Uh, oh, and they're actually from um, Epirus. Okay. Did they get this territory? It was granted to them, I'm assuming, from my Mystikos. Okay. Very interesting. Yeah, you know, I should probably start paying more attention to the little stories that are going on uh, all around us. That's what makes CK2 fun, I think. All right, um, a new, uh, what? Why would they make this guy the heir? Raphael the Cruel? You want someone like that being the new emperor? The fuck? Honestly, maybe I should try to get rid of him. Only 42% though, hmm. Uh, where, where is he? Okay. I mean, I guess I, he's part of my dynasty and he has some good stats. So, I mean, I guess I don't have that much against him, but like, why would you want him when you can have this guy? Huh. Uh, who is voting for him? That's, that's kind of what I want to know. Um... Antipathos, Antipathos Nikephoros of the Byzantine Empire. Uh, my son is voting for him? 
Methodius, why? Maybe we can, maybe I can get him to vote with me. Invite him to the palace, see what he says. So let's go ahead and take out these peasants. And we'll be good to go. Oh, you know, I should probably... <laughs> I, okay. So, uh, Methodius accepted my invitation in the royal bedchamber of the palace. Uh, I'm not going to try to seduce my son. Uh, yeah, your son will probably not take this well. So we will know each other a little better. I'll give him a little talking to. Uh, I should also build this guy. Yeah, Eustinos, a nice castle. He has been a very loyal commander to me. Looks like he even got wounded in the process. Uh, and yeah, this is a territory that should have had a castle built a long time ago. So uh, once we have that money, we will go ahead and get that done. Let's just crush this peasant revolt real quick. And our men are almost back in Constantinople. All right. So we can go ahead and enforce those demands. Let's make them a head shorter. All right, and then we can bring down our troops. Very good, very good. And then now we will land our men. Oh my God, did they not board? <laughs> of course, of course, okay. So my guys didn't board, that's okay. Miscommunication, they just didn't notice that 7,000 men weren't on the boats. Okay, so I'll send my uh, ships back up there and I almost have enough money to build them a nice castle. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's let's even send our uh, steward. Oh, I can't send him there. Okay. Well, then just administer the realm. Uh, nothing's really happening over here, is it? Okay. So I'll just get him performing some statecraft. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get a better court chaplain, and we can start doing some conversion. This territory recently converted over, so we can convert this one too. Ooh, what is this? We got a one province over here. All right, we might have to uh, do something about that. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, and what's going on in Abbas the Abbasid territory? Nothing much. Okay, the Caliph is getting a bit stronger. So it'll be the perfect time to end his life. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, okay, so my cousin is trying to take some territory away from the Abbasids. Interesting. Okay, good. So now we get my cousin back as the heir. He's actually descended from Christophoros, so that would be a nice way to kind of continue the bloodline. We are not descended from him. But maybe if we're lucky, we'll get to make a new one. Okay. Is this also one province? Cool. Why not? You won't accept anything. What's going on here? Uh, so attacking him for Count Ethelred's claim on Northumberland of Yordale. Ah, interesting. And his sister is Queen of Georgia. Very interesting. Oh wow, okay, so West Francia ended up picking this up from the Abbasids, or from the Umayyads, that's good. Uh, okay, wow, so West Francia has become quite strong then. Okay, you know, it's been, we're almost, you know, we're about 30 episodes into the, to the series. 
and we still haven't had a war with the Abbasids. Uh, that's something that really needs to change, because if we want to restore Rome and hmm, uh, if we want to restore Rome and re, you know, mend the schism, we need to take some of that territory, but. I've basically been trying to just slowly gain strength and reuniting our old territory to try and accomplish this. Although I think getting Italy will help us a bit because I think that's a big part of it too. Yeah, Sicily, Venice, Latium, uh, Croatia, Croatia, yeah, Hellas. Yeah, yeah, so we need parts of the Middle East as well, but we're not doing bad. Um, okay, so I can give this on to his daughter, Thorkesia, so Strategitissa Damian. And what's going on with you? All right, I really hope that Callistos can put you down. Oh, so did he win? Um, ooh, well, hold on. Did he win? Conquered as claim it, conquered as claim it. Ah, okay. So it looks like, uh, I don't know how to say that. Bjor, 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 Bjortzig, Bjortzig has lost uh, Northumbria. I guess at the end of the day, I don't really care too much um, because I have that territory under my control. But, yep. Yeah. Ooh, what is this? The peasants in my realm are becoming convinced that the Jews are behind the recent epidemic. I'm under increasing pressure from, from some to condemn the Jews and from others to protect them. Something must be done, but I don't really care. Uh, well, um... Hmm. We would lose a lot of taxes, but get some revolt risk. Uh, and here we'd get even more revolt risk and even more local tax. Less mo vocal tax. Well, you know, my guy does have some sympathy for Muslims, but I think I'm going to pick the option that's a little bit less, you know, we'll have less blow black, blow back, blow black. Okay, so it looks like this is probably going to be the final battle of this war, perhaps. Or not quite. Let's see if this battle changes it at all. It's funny, because they kind of had the same <laughs> flags. Ooh, after helping them see the light of the faith, he wants me to go on a pilgrimage. Hmm, well, I'm not really a religious guy. And I'm kind of old, but okay, let's do it. So my wife will oversee things while I'm gone. Oh. Amir Yuba, ah. Oh. oh yeah, forget about Yuba. Oh, okay, so there has been an iconoclast uprising against the Caliph. I really wish we could uh, support him. But we cannot. Traveling to the tribal realm has been a reinvigorating experience for me. I am in a more savage region, not like my homeland. Spread the word of God. Let's go onwards. You know, I think that Marikios will end up being... No, why is this guy... Why do people want him to be the heir? Um, okay, anyway, so the patriarch has made it clear that he does not want the Jews blamed for these diseases, but not everyone is listening to him. Hmm. Ooh, wow. So I could expel the Jews and get a lot of money, and we won't have any more civil unrest, but we'll have lower diplomacy and lower taxes. Hmm. Oof. Well... You know, my guy's kind of open-minded, so maybe I'll say that the Jews are not to blame. We'll see if there is some blow blowback to that. Uh huh. Okay, so we. I, so I'm a proud guy. Uh, it looks like 
I was surprised to see the Greek priest I had sent to help him ride officially to welcome me. Seeing a familiar face was nice. I cannot deny a tinge of annoyance learning that my host has not come to welcome me in person. Well, you know, I'm a proud guy. I'm a little stubborn, so I think I would expect more from some savage. Uh, okay, so my arrival was graced by sumptuous parade. Okay, that's good. Watching the lines of warriors and chiefs in march the streets. They led me to the palace. Okay, not bad, not bad. A little bit better. A little bit better. Uh, as days pass, surprised by how eagerly and thoroughly they've all embraced the new religion. All right, very impressive, very nice. Mm, I have come to consider him a friend. Well, you know, I have a lot of friends. I'm quite gregarious, so yeah, I think we could consider him a friend as well. I am truly a pious Basilius. All right, so we have come back from our trip. Well, all right, guys, uh, that's it from me. I'm gonna go ahead and bring down my ships. So we made a little bit of progress. Uh, I think we're really seeing our vassals take some initiative when it comes to getting more territory. Uh, you know, now that I think about it, I don't think that we had this territory. So I think that, yeah, look at that. So very recently they've conquered this in a holy war. So we can go ahead and usurp this uh, this title here. So that's really good news. So we're seeing some of our vessels take the initiative, getting a little bit more territory, so that's really good. Um, okay, yeah. So, um, you know, we got a few more years with Marikios. Uh, I think he's doing a really good job. I think that if we can ensure that Sebastos inherits and not this guy, that we will be in a very good position. Uh, but I, I don't know really how I can tip the scales. Yeah, I can't really get him to come to the court. Um, I mean, he is my family, but I don't know why so many people want to... It looks like I am mostly... I am most of the support <laughs> that is coming from th this. Um, hmm. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. I have a few more years left. Hopefully, Sebastos will end up on top. I think if Raf Raphael becomes the new emperor, that's going to be a little awkward because uh, I think he was basically kind of kicked out of power by some other members of our family. So that will be interesting. Uh, but all right, guys, uh, that's it for me. I'll see you next time.